the research on the ESR1 gene mutations is basically trying to answer the question why some tumors that express that gene uh, respond well to chemotherapy and endocrine therapy and why some tumors don't. Uh, the main type of treatment to ESR1 policy uh, that tumors that express the estrogen receptor are endocrine therapy, uh, drugs like nestrozole, letrozole, and tamoxifen. And what we find out during our studies, and, and that uh, has to do also with the xenograft models that Dr. Ellis have, has developed, is that some, some of these tumors, they have point mutations or even translocations that might give us the reason for why they're not responding to treatment. So what we've been doing in the past six, well, the xenograft study started years and years ago, and, and for the past year we've been uh, characterizing these mutations into cell lines and doing in vitro studies to understand why that's happening. So we found at least two point mutations and a, tr a translocation in, involving the ESR1 gene that actually make the tumors not responsive to endocrine treatment for a standard endocrine treatment. And, and the future steps is to keep looking for other mutations in that gene uh, doing the in vitro studies and testing new drugs and possibly these mutations will be targeted to new generation drugs that we hope will improve overall survival and disease-free survival.